Oh, there are so many highlights for the university this fall. I, obviously, the the return of the students, the move-in weekend, I think got to be at the top of that list. The opening of the Senegal Center, the new building, but then the students in the building, in the space, is so exciting. It looks and feels very different to be in there with people in the labs and in the study rooms and drinking coffee and in the maker space. De-stress with dogs was a great highlight for me this quarter and, and I brought Griffey to that. The contrast between the professional therapy dogs who were very mellow and just laying down on the floor and Griffey's approach, which was to go up to every person and greet them over and over again was, was striking. He's definitely an amateur uh, therapy dog, but uh, I think the students did enjoy his energy and, and affection. The faculty staff Thanksgiving lunch was another highlight. It was great to have Campion Ballroom full of faculty and staff enjoying some time together before the holiday weekend. One of the things that comes up over and over again in, in meetings with business and civic leaders are the challenges of um, recruiting talent. We all hear about the great resignation and the, and the, the difficulties of, of companies hiring. And so I think there's a great opportunity for our students in the current economy to make connections. We're fortunate to be in such a dynamic business community. And one of the things that we're working on as an institution is, is finding ways to really build those bridges and make sure that our students can take full advantage of those opportunities. The presence of the students is what animates a campus. In the same way that the arrival of the students in September just immediately lit the place up with energy and an activity, their departure here after the Thanksgiving weekend, we miss them. You know, the, 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 I immediately feel the, the loss of the, the students or the absence of the students. And you could tell from the student engagement throughout the quarter that the students were really happy to be back and, and eager to participate and to interact with one another and with the faculty. And um, so I think it um, something to look forward to after the new year, their return. Cubans do Christmas on Christmas Eve, Noche Buena. Uh, traditional Cuban dinner, roast pork, black beans and rice, and uh, fried bananas and yuca. Now each family sort of brings one piece of that. And so it'll be about 30 people getting together at my sister's house. And it's just something I always look forward to. Something we do, we don't do it every year, but we do it almost every year as we go see the Christmas Carol at the, at the ACT Theater. So we'll, we'll be doing that uh, in a couple weeks.